Hello viewers, greetings from Journey Advisor. Today we are going to see the second part of Cinque Terre. The beautiful coastline, lovely beaches, colorful houses that are built in the cliffs, great hiking trails, stunning nature, and typical Italian cuisine and hospitality. If you are yet to subscribe us, please don't forget to subscribe and be with us for new updates. Vernazza. The small fishing village Vernazza is probably the most characteristic of the Cinque Terre and is classified as one of the most beautiful villages in Italy. Vernazza was founded about 1000 AD and was ruled by the Republic of Genoa starting in 1276. The medieval castle, Belfort, was built in the mid-1500s, primarily to protect the village from pirates. An ideal way to arrive to this breathtaking village is by sea. The tiny port is surrounded by subtle colorful pastels and the charming piazza is lined with good restaurants and bars. The village is surrounded by very steeply terraced olive groves which are said to produce among the finest olive oil in the country.
things to visit in Vernazza, the Church of Santa Margherita di Antiochia, built on the rocks overlooking the sea, the Tower of the Doria Castle, built in the 15th century to protect the village from pirates, is located above the bay and the small port of Vernazza. Events in Vernazza, the 20th of July, Feast Santa Margherita di Antiochia, the Feast of Pirates, no precise date, weekly farmer's market in Vernazza every Tuesday morning. Monterosso Monterosso al Mare is the largest of the five coastal villages known as the Cinque Terra. The village is located on hills cultivated with lemons, vines and olives. Its amazing beaches, its beautiful reefs and the sea's crystal clear waters make this small village one of the most hospitable of the Ligurian Riviera. Monterosso is divided in two parts marked by the medieval tower of Aurora. The new part of town, Fagina, is full of life, it is the reflection of an area that tourism has made rich, as the great quantity and excellent quality of hotels and restaurants give evidence. Fagina is dominated by the famous statue of the giant, built beside the terrace of a local villa. This statue was created at the beginning of the XX century and represents Neptune, the god of the sea. Now it has become the symbol of Monterosso. The old town of Monterosso is dominated by the ruins of the castle and characterized by typical narrow medieval streets, Karuji, with multicolored terraced houses. The beach is the only extensive sand beach in the Cinque Terra and runs along most of the coastline and is well used by tourists and locals. There are so many reasons to visit Cinque Terra. 
Whether you love culture, photography, history, or food, Sing Terra is perfect. It was amazing to discover the little villages. I already knew I'd love Sing Terra because of all photos I saw. But it was even better than I imagined. Rio Maggiore, Monarola, Cornelia, Vernazza and Monteroso Almare have so much to offer. I found there are many more reasons why you should visit Sing Terra than I already knew. If you're wondering if you should travel to Sing Terra, I can promise, you will love it. Journey Advisor always wish to show you different places and attractions so that you can enrich your knowledge as well as see the beauty. You can contact us for any types of travel-related issues and services through email or call. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. You can comments, like and share the video so that other people can see and enjoy it. Be with us. Thank you.